And please understand that there are three levels to connecting with the one that God has for you. And if you don't connect to the one that God has for you in this exact same manner, which I'm going to explain to you now, if you don't connect with that person in these steps, in these levels accordingly, you will miss it and you will miss the one that God has sent to you. Why? Because you haven't followed the divine order. Because you haven't followed the divine order. So it is very essential that you follow the divine order in order for you to be able to detect, realize, identify the spouse for you, the God sent spouse for you, your kingdom spouse, your divine spouse, your covenant spouse, however you want to call it. Amen. Praise God. Please understand that a pastor or a priest can join just anyone and God may not be a part of it or have given approval to that physical joining. Please understand this because this is very, very essential and this is very, very key for you to note. That a pastor or a priest can join just anyone. Anyone can go to, can just go to the pastor or the priest and tell them, you know, we plan to get married in so and so time, you know, and they're not in Christ and they and and they have you know no um no um no a uh, union with um Christ or the Holy Spirit, no relationship with God, right? And the pastor can still join them, and God will not be a part of that union. You see, the scripture that says what God has joined together, let no man put asunder is really speaking specifically about unions, relationships, marriages that God himself orchestrated, God himself put together, God himself organized, God himself arranged. So a pastor can join just anyone, anyone, and God will not be a part of it. God will not be a part of it. Or, you know, um, God will not really give his approval. Let us put it that way. God is not giving his approval to that union, to that physical joining. Why? Because there is a pattern. There is an order, a divine order that needs to be followed first. And we're getting there now. Praise God. Before you build the house, the foundation must be rightly laid. Otherwise, what happens? The house cannot stand. Before you build the house, the foundation must be rightly laid. Otherwise, the house cannot stand. Please understand this. Please un understand this. A marriage is like a skyscraper. A marriage is like a skyscraper. For any skyscraper that has to be built, constructed, it takes a long time. Amen. And not only that, it takes, it, it, it takes a long time. The foundation of that skyscraper, it's so deep. It's deeply embedded in the roots of the earth. The same way God wants you to be deeply embedded in the roots of the spirit, in the deep of the spirit, in the truth of the spirit. That's the foundation that must be laid first when you are connecting with your divine spouse.